add info cards to your videos in the new YouTube studio. It can help drive that additional traffic to other videos that are related and it's completely free. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so this is the new YouTube studio. If you click on videos on the left hand side, it will give you a list of all of your videos. You know, like you've seen before, you pick the video you want to add your info cards to. So in this case, we're going to use this one as an example and you click on the title. This is the page where you normally enter your title, your descriptions, your tags, you list them, your playlist, that kind of thing. But what we're focusing on is on the left hand side, editor. So this is the editor. It's a bit swanky, a little bit different to what you're used to, but generally this is where you do all of your end screen editing, that kind of thing. And it's a little bar on the right hand side that scrolls you down and you can click add card. At this current moment in time, it redirects to the old classic mode. I'm sure it'll be updated just like the end screen. So I'm gonna put a card up here, the top right hand corner, to show you how to add end cards. It's likely to be the same. Or if I make an updated version of this video, I'll link it in the description down below. But if you want to add an end card using the classic mode at this point in time through the system, simply click add card. You choose what type of card, poll, channel, video playlist or link. I'm going to do a video. At this point, it will pop up this and it allow you to scroll through all the videos that you've got recently and all of your playlists. And then you choose what you want to put in that info card. Let's say the Creative Fundamentals playlist that I've done recently. Click Create Card. You'll now see that here at the top right hand corner, there's an info card thing. It shows you that the card is attached. Down here, it tells you the timestamp it happens to show up in the video and you can drag it around to wherever you want. I suggest obviously if you're doing a call to action it you, you say like you know there's a card up here then you make sure that you point to the card when you're doing so. You can have up to five cards I suggest not flooding people but you know if you're calling out to specific videos or if you're mentioning things in the video make sure that there's the card when they point to it and if you can use playlists more than videos it triggers longer session watch time.